Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market view. U.S. markets were up about 0.4 percent, uh, and European markets were mixed. Uh, Germany was down almost about half a percent, but the rest of the markets were up. Uh, and in terms of data points, uh, the French uh, trade deficit data came in as a negative surprise for the market. And also, uh, another country called Slovenia is uh, facing some uh, banking crisis and could be on the way to Cyprus. So. This is an additional uh, negative development uh, which has come in uh, as far as Eurozone is concerned and the market would be focusing on the developments uh, there. When we look at the Asian markets, uh, most of the markets are up. Uh, Nikkei is up about 0.7% and even Hang Seng is up about 0.25%. Uh, importantly, uh, yen continues to remain uh, weak at about 99 versus a dollar. However, the euro has uh, strengthened against the dollar to almost about 1.30. The crude is at about 106 odd levels. There is some amount of spike that we have seen over the last uh, couple of days uh, in crude oil price. Uh, and coming back to our markets, first of all, the flows uh, continues to be a bit uh, negative in terms of the FI selling. And yesterday also we had seen a selling of almost about 665 crore in the cash market. However, domestic institutions surprisingly uh, were net buyers to the tune of about 985 odd crore. And in the last four trading sessions itself, the FIIs have sold uh, close to about 1,500-odd crore. And in the f and segment, we have seen a huge selling over the past few sessions uh, in the Nifty futures to the tune of almost about 68 to 70 lakh shares. And also in terms of the put options, uh, the FIIs have built position to the tune of almost about 2.5 crore shares. And particularly, the low strike puts of 5200 and 5300 strikes have seen massive open interest built up over the past few sessions. Uh, on that note, let me invite Shaival to take us through important f cues, ideas and strategies that we can have in the f markets. Good morning, friends. Let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, Indian markets have been heavily underperforming the global markets and what we have seen is that due to this hammering nifty has not only breached the lower break-even point of the straddle value of this month but it has also breached the psychological mark of double five double zero and also it has managed to close at double five double zero now we have seen that due to this hammering uh, we have seen some short positions been building up in the market in yesterday's trade now if i talk about the fi's activity from past couple of trading sessions we have been observing that uh, in index futures fi's have been net sellers and in index option they have been net buyers and the same has been witnessed in yesterday's trade also uh, yesterday they have bought more than 1000 crore of index option whereas they have sold uh, they were net seller of around 15 crore in index future which has been clearly indicating they have been shorting futures while buying out of the money put options that can be uh, that can be seen as the volatility index VIX has also been in, uh, increasing simultaneously so that is indicating that yes there is some option buying on the lower side happening and due to which the PCR ratio has also seen a marginal uptick from 0.80 to 0.83. Now as the levels have been breached, uh, as the levels have been breaching on the lower side, we have seen that the focus has been shifted from 5500 put option to 5400 and 5200 put option. Whereas on the higher side, the same has been witnessed from 5700 call option to 5600 and 5500 call option. 5,200 of uh, put option has seen a huge amount of addition in terms of percentage that is 150 uh, percent. Our bias for the market is negative as we have closed below our lower level, uh, lower level of double five, double two. We have revised our targets on the lower side for week on weekly basis. It is 5450, and uh, we may see selling pressure emerging in the market at higher levels. From intraday perspective, REC is looking positive. One can go long with stop loss of 211.85, whereas one can go short on Mahindra and Mahindra with stop loss of 852 rupees 45 paisa. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, TCS has acquired a company in Europe uh, for about 75 million euros, which is about uh, 533 crore. Since this company has a uh, good clientele in Eurozone, particularly in France and Switzerland, this would help uh, TCS acquire those relationships. So this is definitely a bit of a positive for TCS. And United uh, Spirit Shares open offer uh, by Diageo uh, is going to start from today. And since the price currently is much higher than the open offer price of 1440, uh, there is not going to be any uh, response uh, to the uh, open offer by the investors. Jindal Stainless. Uh, some positive news as the company has entered into a strategic agreement 
with Korean major POSCO uh, to stabilize production of alloy uh, which is used in cars and home appliances. So watch out for some positive action in general stainless in today's market. Uh, FMCG companies have been offering a lot of uh, discounts and freebies on premium products uh, which ranges anywhere from about 10 to 70 percent and uh, this is primarily because of the uh, slowdown that is being witnessed uh, in the volume over the past uh, two or three months and also there is a fall in the input cost particularly uh, something like uh, palm oil and few other items. So uh, that is definitely uh, causing this uh, development and this is a bit of a negative actually for the FMCG companies because we have seen them reporting good set of numbers but now that there is a slowdown and they are offering discount, uh, going forward there could be some kind of a pressure on the margins for FMCG companies. Reliance Industries has discovered uh, gas in its KGD6 basin though the quantum of the gas is not known. The fact that this discovery has happened almost after about five to six years is definitely sentimentally positive for Reliance. So one can go long there with a stop loss of 761 and a target of about 800 to about 815. And Chumbal Fertilizer, some positive news as uh, ONGC has signed an MOU with it for setting up a fertilizer uh, unit in Unakoti district. Uh, the estimated cost of project of uh, this would be about 1.3 uh, million ton of fertilizer per annum and that amounts to almost about 5000 crore. So one can go long on Chambal with a stop loss of 50 and a target of about 53 to about 54. And Kane India has uh, made another discovery uh, in the Rajasthan block which is the 26th discovery that they have reported in 90 slash 1 block and uh, also the company is expecting some favorable policy decisions from the government uh, for uh, oil and gas sector and Kane. So one can go long on cane with a stop loss of 285 and a target of about 300 to about 305. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great trading session. See you tomorrow at the same time.